Here we go. This is Dakota. He is a nine-year-old, 16-hand plus buckskin Saki Mountain horse. Real pretty horse. Nearly was a gorilla. He's a but he's a pretty pretty boy. See his kind eye shot there, Shane. He definitely got one. Very pretty big Kodak moment right there. He gonna get on him and show you how it goes. He's got a nice gait. Got extremely a lot of training. He side passes. He neck reins like a good quarter horse. Uh, broke, broke, broke to death. He does not ride good behind. I'll be the first to tell you. He goes good by himself. He goes good leading. And he don't buck or anything behind. But now he gets Nancy Prince in. A lot of people will say, well, they all will. And there's lots of truth to that, I guess, somewhat. But he's worse. He, he really dances in Francis. So it, it, the thing of it is, if you're a horseman, it wouldn't bother you. But you need to be a horseman to ride him or, you know, keep him up front. Because if you keep him up front, there anybody can ride him. He's, he's calm and quiet as he can be. But behind, he'll get dancing and want to do a little side passing. But he does do side passing, but he wants to do it then. <laughs> Not when he's asked to do it. But he is a trail riding rascal now. Do not point him. I wouldn't point him toward fire if I didn't want to go. Well, he don't see things. He just goes. He's just a pet on the ground. You wouldn't think he'd have enough energy to go uh, on the ground. He's just like an old plow horse on the ground. Real sweet. Buddy type. First one at the gate to meet you. Uh, got a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful short lope, as you'll see. He's got a nice little gait, not real fast, but a nice little gait, very smooth. And then he's got that wonderful short lope. Got a real nice walk on him. You know, a big old stout made horse now. And tall, if he's looking for one that tall and all. You know. <laughs> he's a really good horse, but any of you people that know me know what I'm saying. You people that don't know me, I'll be the first one to tell you what, what I don't like about these horses and what I do like about them. And I will bring out their faults. I will always do it. It's kind of like my kids. I love them to pieces, but I'll be the first one to tell you the faults, too. And we all have them. <laughs> He's a classy little rascal right there. Just quite as he can be. Plugging right along. You have Dakota and Shane a good, 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 good job. Here comes Dakota and Shane. They're going to go through the obstacle course. I'm going to keep it wide so you can kind of see what they're doing. See it, I'd be afraid to point him toward the fire if I didn't want to go. Now, he, he's always the first time we took him through the obstacle course. He went like he's been doing it all of his life. He just don't pay lots of attention to things and he goes. But he's very sure footed and you know, safe that away, so he just he's convinced he can do it. You know, when somebody's convinced they can do something, they usually can. Very good. Back to the trailer we go. Off of him. We're gonna go over and show you how good he gets in and out of the trailer now. We have Dakota and Shane, they're gonna go up in the trailer. <coughs> Move over here so you can see them better. You can't hardly see them back there, so I always have them to wait. Let me get over here. You can really see them get in and out of the trailer. If I don't zoom in too close. <laughs> this horse is really a broke trail horse now. It just not a beginner horse. And I'm not washing any of these horses today because we've had such cold weather and uh, we've unhooked all that just so it wouldn't freeze up. But they all have had the pressure washer. I assure you that, Aaron Ham, they're fine. You can wash them. Things 
Mr. Shane and Dakota back at the barn. We'll see you at the creek. Here comes Dakota and Shane. They go go down in the creek. This horse here, Nate Rain's real, real well too. He come with shotgun. Got two horses. People just selling out, so there's not really nothing in the world wrong with them. They just selling out. See how comfortable he is in the woods, though. He just, and it's it's past feeding time. The sun's gone down, so nothing is really normal down here, and they're all accepting it pretty dang good. So, kudos to these horses and the people who ride them. <laughs> <laughs> He's going back to the barn. Great job.